So if you're buying a Jeep Wrangler, particularly the two-door version, should you ever buy one as a hardtop? What I'm in right now. You know, I went a little bit back and forth in my own mind trying to decide, should I buy a hard top? Should I buy a soft top? I mean, if you're buying a Jeep, especially a two-door Wrangler, one would assume, you know, you always get in trouble when you start doing that, right? One would assume that you're going to be taking the top off, right? I mean, isn't that part of the appeal of a Jeep, particularly a Jeep Wrangler two-door? And if you have the hard top, it's a heck of a lot more difficult, more and more complicated, really. You know, we have two Jeeps. My wife has a 2018 with a soft top, and she particularly wanted the soft top. And I understand why. It makes perfect sense to me now because there have been a few really nice days down here so far this year. And this is the time of year in deep south Texas when if you have a convertible, you want to be utilizing it because as soon as the weather changes and spring and summer arrive, it's going to be pretty damn hot. So anyway, I've had a few opportunities where I thought, you know, I should take the top off but it's a hard time. Now, there is one good thing about it. It has the freedom panels right up here, and you can take those off. Of course, what do you do with them when you take them off? I mean, you could throw them in the back, but one thing I discovered about the freedom panels is they're very fragile. The material they made, they're made out of, that is, is, is pretty brittle. I had a, a pair that I was storing underneath a bed, Nobody uses this area. They're just stored there. The only disturbance it could possibly have is when it's being swept, like the vacuum going underneath the bed in the corners, you know. I opened the bag, pulled them out, and there was a chip in one of the freedom panels. And they're black, by the way, on the outside, but they're white through the core. So when there's a chip, it's blaring. You can see it. And I thought, wow, how fragile are these things, you know? I mean, if you're supposed to take them off and throw them in the back, you have to use care. Now, Jeep does give you this bag. It's a pain. I've used it a few times. Those that I had under the bed were stored in the bag. But it's a pain to deal with, and it takes up a lot of space. And when you're not putting the freedom panels in them or in it, you have to haul it around with you. So it's not a great solution, I, I don't think. I think what really needs to be done is the panels need to be made out of something a little bit more uh, resilient, something a little bit stronger that's not gonna chip. But anyway, back to the main topic. Should you buy a Jeep Wrangler without the soft top? The answer is no, I don't think so. Now, there is another benefit to the hard top. There's actually a, a, a couple more benefits. One is the noise. I mean, you can probably hear in the video right now that it's a little bit noisy in here, but it's a Jeep. That's the way it's gonna be, and I'm not complaining about that. I've had several Jeeps over my uh, lifetime, and I know what they're all about, both hard top and soft top. Security is probably the biggest reason, I think. You know, if you have to park outside or maybe even just parking at the mall or the grocery store, it's much easier to break into a soft top. I mean, all you really need is a box cutter, right? To slice the window or slice the canvas or whatever, and you're inside. Very simple to do, particularly on the doors. If you happen to have those older style doors, and I know these days the doors are steel, or metal or aluminum, whatever they are, uh, and with a glass panel, so not as easy to do. But on the older Jeeps, you could just slice right through that clear plastic window, unlock the door, and you're in. Fortunately, we don't have that so much anymore. But other areas, like the back part area, you could pull in through there pretty easy or get in through there pretty easily and grab anything that you can reach. And the Jeep's not that big, so it'd be pretty easy to reach anything you have sitting in there. So the hard top is a definite advantage to that. So what do you do if you have the hard top and you decide that you want to take off uh, the top? Well, there are a couple of ways to do it, I guess. If you have a buddy, well then, they can help you lift it off. And it really is a two-man job. I've seen guys do it. 
and I've carried around the top myself also, by the way, but I've seen guys do it by themselves. Man, if you drop that top with the glass in it and it's plastic as well, you're gonna have a really bad day. Um, the other is to have one of those, well, there's two other ways that I know of. One is to have one of those kind of cart lifter things. They kind of go in, it's, like, it's almost like a hand-driven uh, forklift. You take it in, the little arms go underneath the top, you jack it up a little bit to get it off the Jeep, and then it wheels out. That's probably the handiest way, but then you have to store that cart thing, right? And it's pretty good size. The other is to mount some sort of a, a winch, either a, 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 an electrical operated or elect, electrically operated winch or something that has a hand crank on it. And I've seen both. I've seen where people have hung something from the ceiling with a hand crank and then they secure the top and then crank it off. That's not bad as long as you have a ceiling that's high enough or you don't need to get into your garage while your top is hanging in there or sitting in the floor. Um, I had a, an electric winch before I had actually mounted it to the ceiling and then I used like a pallet that I would put underneath the actual top itself and then fasten the pallet over on the other side underneath up to the winch. It was a pretty complicated little contraption I came up with. And then you would just grab the little control head thing on the winch and uh, pull it up to the ceiling. It was great for storage. It worked really, really well, but it was just a lot of equipment and expense. It probably cost me, I would think it was somewhere between four and 600 bucks by the time I was done with all of the hardware, the winch itself, um, and the wood, everything that I needed to build that contraption that I made. So it's a hassle. Uh, definitely easier if you have the soft top, and particularly today, Jeep has made it so easy to lower and, and put back up those tops. You just unfasten a few things and throw it back and you're done with it. Definitely the way to go, in my opinion, if you're looking for a Jeep Wrangler, again, particularly the two-door, where you want to utilize it to its full potential. And that, of course, is actually being able to put the top down. Now, there's one more thing I want to add with the hard top that I need to do to this one yet, and that is the uh, Sunrider soft top, or the Sunrider piece that goes across the front here. It replaces the freedom panels. And the purpose of that is, of course, to make it easier to open the top part, at least over you. It's not a full solution. I mean, it's not like it uh, completely replaces the entire hardtop, but it will allow you to have that kind of, what is it, what they used to call it, the uh, Targa top across the front here, where you can at least have full access to the sky with that thrown back. And it works the same way as the soft top does. You just unlatch a couple of latches and just throw it back pretty easy. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you've got a Jeep Gladiator, or a Jeep Wrangler rather, and you're looking, or you're looking for one, uh, does it make more sense to get a soft top? Why get the hard top at all? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. Thank you.